What are you, some kind of freak? How did you get that strong? Hundred push ups, hundred sit ups, hundred squats. That's what it takes if you're trying to. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mac McCarty. I haven't posted a video in 14 months. Um, I just want to give you guys an update of what's going on with my baseball career, what's going on with my life. And uh, I just, I don't know, I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop because I've had some pretty interesting things happen. So, the last time I posted was my junior year, the end of my junior year. We just got bounced from um, our conference tournament. And so it was the summer. Um, I didn't do much during that summer. I pretty much took it all off resting. I started investigating ways to gain velocity because I was sitting 82, topping at 83 um, for most of my outings from my sidearm submarine slot. Um, I had a really good season statistically. That was really cool, but I had no professional looks at all. Um, and that was, and that's my dream is to play professional baseball. So I needed to figure out a way to start throwing harder because someone throwing 82, 83 from my slot wasn't going to get picked up. After that summer, it was the fall. Kind of got into um, weighted baseballs and plyo care baseballs. I did a lot of research um, just on how I wanted to approach it, and I um, came across Driveline and they're from the Northwest and I've just heard that they're doing a lot of great things. So I started throwing their plyo care balls. I started doing um, like weighted long or weighted long toss and then like having doing pull down sessions and stuff like that. Um, and that actually really helped my velocity. And I went from like 82 to 83 to 83 to 84, which was a really big jump because I hadn't gained velocity in a long time. Um, so, after that winter, I did really aggressive, um, like I was doing pull downs one, or once a week and I was throwing like the un underweighted plyos really aggressively. Anyways, I came back um, after winter break and I was like 84 to 86 and that was like really encouraging for me um, just because 86 was like a number I've always had in my head. Like if I can throw that hard for my slot, like that's, that's pretty good. So I was voted a preseason All-American, uh, second team All-American going into that season and I was really excited because I was I just was uh, voted a preseason All-American. I was gaining a lot of velocity and then in my second outing of the season, I was sitting 86 to 88 and I topped out at 89. And that was, and for me, that was really big um, because I always thought in my head, like for my arm slot, if I actually like will have a shot of playing pro baseball, like throwing 86 to 88 will get me there. Like those are those are legitimate numbers to have a chance to play indie ball and maybe get picked up by an affiliated team. So I was really excited about that. And then I made seven appearances. I had like a 1-5 ERA and my season was going really well. And then in my uh, seventh appearance of the season in our 11th game, um, I felt like a big tightness in the back of my tricep. And it was just this giant knot and I was like, what is going on? And I like threw three more pitches to get through the inning and um, my velocity was down like three or four miles an hour from what it had been. And then I woke up the next morning and I had like extension to like right here and I had like flexion to here. And like I couldn't get my arm to move outside of this range of motion. Um, so we were traveling to University of Central Florida um, the next day and I didn't make the trip and I actually got an MRI on my elbow. And that MRI revealed that I uh, had a torn UCL. So I had the option of pitching through it and just having a lot of pain during um, the rest of the season, getting Tommy John surgery, which really wasn't an option because I wouldn't be able to compete the next year or getting a newer UCL surgery um, for my type of tear called internal bracing of the UCL. It's like a UCL augmentation. Um, it's only a six month recovery compared to a uh, 12 month recovery. It's catching on um, in baseball right now just because it, it is a much shorter um, rest period. It just has not been as researched. But with my time frame, that was the only surgery I could get where I could be 100% healthy and still be able to play the next year. So, um, and just to clarify too, like, my arm had always been hurting, like a horrible pain in my elbow after any time I pitched. Like it wasn't just because um, I started doing really intense throwing. Like I'd had that pain in my junior year when I was throwing slow still. Like I think that was, it was a lingering issue. And then I actually had symptoms um, start arising during my senior year. I ended up uh, 
um, not pitching for the rest of that season. Had a decision to make and I decided to um, transfer out of VCU. I got, I actually got engaged during the uh, winter break and then I got married this year in July, so I'm making moves. And the situation was just better for my wife and I to not go back to Richmond um, than if we would have stayed. So I uh, put my name into the transfer portal and I got a bunch of emails from a ton of teams and it was so different because out of high school, it was like I had one offer and I was throwing slow and then I had a really good junior campaign and a really good senior campaign and then I was injured and now all these teams wanted me once I put my name into that transfer portal. So for a while I thought I was going to University of Connecticut, then that fell through and then University of Houston and Dallas Baptist and that fell through and it was like, man, I really want to know where I'm going so after I get married, like, I can actually have a plan of what I'm doing. So, um, oddly enough, Dallas Baptist's old pitching, or their pitching coach came from University of Alabama, Birmingham, and he said they were looking for a reliever and a back end arm to pitch. And so I got in contact with them and they had um, good scholarship money. And so I ended up signing there and uh, I'm now a UAB Blazer. So that's been really exciting just to be in Birmingham and uh, just competing with this team now and my wife and I are really happy down here. So currently where I'm at, so, I'm, so I had surgery on May 7th and uh, it's now um, in November, late November. And so I'm about seven months out of surgery. Um, at the six, at the about four and a half month mark, I was cleared to start throwing. And uh, um, so I've been, I was on a rehab program for a while and now I'm kind of getting back into like really intense throwing. And I just had my second pull down session since surgery and I just touched 91, which is the first time I've ever broken 90 in my baseball career. So that was really exciting for me um, because 90 is always this number that I feel like people toss around, but I never actually threw a ball over 90 miles an hour. So that was really, really exciting for me. And it was just like, man, I've worked so hard trying to come back from rehab. And I spent so much time in that uh, robo arm after my surgery. And now like it's starting to pay off. So um, yeah, it's been seven months. I'm uh, really enjoying my time down here. My idea with posting this video was just to give you guys an update of just what I'm doing. Like I had surgery, which is really crazy. Like I was, getting, I was a preseason All-American, started throwing hard, thought I might get picked up for Pro Bowl. Maybe after that year if I post, posted great numbers. Um, and that didn't happen. Like I, my arm got hurt and I had surgery. So like, I'm gonna keep trying and I'm gonna keep pursuing my dreams. And uh, I hope you guys keep doing that too. Like who's ever still following me, who or whoever sees this, like keep following your dreams, keep pursuing. If you wanna play professional baseball one day or if you just wanna play college baseball or high school baseball, like keep looking at all the best ways that you can do that. Um, so kind of like for the future of the channel, I wanna focus on just showing just kind of getting back to what it maybe was, like maybe try and post um, once a week for a few months and just see, because I've really, I really enjoyed like running the YouTube channel and just like um, hearing about how you guys are doing and then just kind of showing um, what I'm doing and maybe you guys will get something. So um, thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks you so much for watching. Um, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you can do that right here and uh, keep grinding. Thank you guys so much. Bye.